This project is sponsored by PCBWay. They have all the services you need to create your project at the best price, whether it's a school project or complex professional project. On PCBWay you can share your experiences or get inspiration for your next project. They also provide completed surface mount SMT PCB assembly service at the best price and ISO 9001 quality control. Uh, visit www.pcbway.com for more services. Hello, some time ago I presented you a video in which I analyzed a super cheap Tesla coil driver that cost less than $20. This time I will also present you a really cheap other type of driver that now costs about $50 but it is complete and contains a half bridge circuit with two power MOSFETs with appropriate heat sinks as well as a full wave rectifier. In short, in this case I only need the coil, the coils, uh, the primary and the secondary coil to assemble a func functional Tesla coil. In this particular example I am using factory made primary and secondary coil with top load so it, it only makes me a few minutes to get the device up and running. First let's examine board itself and the elements on it. It is immediately clear that, this is, that it is quality made on a double sided laminated PCB. This is the low voltage part uh, which is separated from the high voltage part by this white border. Unlike the previously mentioned module, on this case uh, SMD components are used uh, which reduce the required board space and cost and also simplifies the manufacturing process. This low voltage part is powered by an external 12 volt DC source. This switch selects uh, the operating mode between interrupter or audio modulated. Components used in that part are two 555 timer integrated circuit, circuits, LM393 comparator and 74HC14 with the two potentiometers independent pulse width and frequency can be adjusted in interrupter mode in music mode only the pulse width can be adjusted because the frequency is controlled by the music uh, the small mag magnetic loop, feed loop feedbacks the ground wire of the secondary coil Depending on the direction of, the, of that wire, the position of this miniature switch changes. The other part consists of UC3732 dual channel gate driver chip followed by two complementary MOSFETs of the AO4606 type. Uh, in this way, overloading of the gate driver chip is avoided. Uh, this is a gate driver transformer to which are connected two power MOSFETs of the type W20NM60 mounted on relatively massive heat sinks, uh, which in terms of characteristic correspond to the well known IRFP460. The high voltage section consists of a fuse, a grass bridge and filter capacitor which, with a large capacity of 180 microfarads providing power for the half bridge MOSFET configuration. The primary winding of the Tesla coil is connected to, to this green terminal and here a voltage of maximum 220 volts. Before I start testing, let me warn you that this experiment will use high voltage that are dangerous to life and health, so I do not recommend repeating it at home unless you have extensive prior knowledge in this area. According to the manufacturer's recommendations, 
the inductance of the primary coil is recommended to be at less about 7 micro Henry and the resonant frequency of the secondary to range between 200 and 800 kilohertz. Specifically in my case, the, the inductance of this primary coil is exactly 7 micro Henry which is the minimum allowed value in order to obtain the best possible results. The secondary has resonant frequency of about 240 kHz calculated together with the with this top load. Now let's see how this device works in real conditions. First, we need to connect primary coil to the appropriate place. Then we pass the beginning of the secondary through this uh, magnetic loop and then back to ground. Then we connect a 12 volt DC source to appropriate connector and finally a main power supply which is good to, to connect uh, via variac if you have one. Uh, we need to set the interrupt first uh, the switch, this switch to interrupter mode. Now gradually increase the voltage to approximately 50 volts. I bring the CF, CFL bulb closer to the secondary and if does not light up we need to switch the micro switch to the other position. The lamp should be activated like in our case and this is sign that everything is well connected and I can start and next I can start increasing the voltage.
And finally, a short conclusion. This is a relatively cheap, complete Tesla coil driver. So we only need a primary and secondary coil. And in a few minutes, we can make a good, powerful, functional Tesla coil suitable for long-term continuous operation. And at the end, safety note, please do not attempt to recreate the experiments shown on this video unless you are familiar with high voltage safety techniques. Direct current, even above 60 volt, may be a little, even when the AC supply voltage has been disconnected due to the stored energy in the capacitors.